Hey, what's up? Well, I'm back again, back with another video. And last time I made a video, I didn't put the light on. So if my face was inadequately lit, that's why. So I'm just trying to get these bags out the way so that they don't mess up my video. And what I'd like to talk about, well, is a number of things, you know, that I didn't get to in my other video. And first of all, I'd like to say that although we were not able to bring as much as I would like to have brought to the new house, we did end up bringing quite a bit. And among the things that we brought were all my Rugrat dolls, including Island Princess and Jellatiki. So what I'm hoping is that it'll be like out of sight, out of mind, so to speak. And these last few months in the apartment will be spent away from our Rugrat dolls and I am definitely seeing progress in the way of not even feeling compelled to check on the Rugrats comic anymore. Like, I don't even care about it anymore. And what I'd like to talk about in this video, um, there's just so many topics that I was thinking about when I was at the house that I would love to make videos on. And, um, you know, I just really... Right now, I'm very frustrated because, you know, my dad changed the TV system once again, and so I can't seem to figure it out, and we'll have to just settle for just not bothering to watch TV, and, you know, I could title this video The Low Tech Life, and, you know, that's just the way it is. It's like, you know, a lot of women are just getting to the point where the technology is just changing so rapidly that it's like you'd learn how to use one system and then it changes to another so it's like why even bother you know there's just nothing on that box other than white light that's going to improve my life to the point where learning it would be beneficial you know what i'm saying there is no advantage whatsoever there is not one thing on that box that i care enough about to sit and learn how to use that tv because i don't care to watch it you know what i'm saying if i never watched another minute of tv for the rest of my life i would feel like i had wasted enough time on it thus far i would feel like you know i never i don't care if i ever see another movie another cartoon another anything ever 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 again you know what i'm saying the internet has all i will ever need as far as entertainment which really i'm not I've just never really been into fiction. You know, when I was in school, I struggled with motivation in reading. And it was largely because they wanted us to read fiction. You know, everything we ever read was fiction. You know, as far as our English class. And I mean, I enjoy reading. I love to read. But what I'd rather be reading about is nonfiction. I'd rather be reading and learning about the world around me and reality, you know, as I've talked about before, yeah, you know, I couldn't care less about some story that somebody made up and then it got turned into a movie. I couldn't care less, you know, other than its ability to illuminate my face. That's all I care about that TV for. If I could have a bright white light instead, I would be fine with that. Um, I'd much rather hear my own self talking and, you know, learn about the actual real world, you know, the news, the weather stuff like that. So, you know, I have no use for fiction, um, no use for cartoons whatsoever anymore, and I am so happy, so happy about my lack of caring about the Rugrats reboot and all things Rugrats of today. You know, as far as I'm concerned, that's in the past. That's not my present or my future. That is my past, and quite frankly, I'd rather forget a lot of that. So, without further ado, I'd like to talk about you know, today, you see, this kind of stuff, dolls, I, I want to talk about these dolls, um, I bought an Emma doll, yeah, I went to this dollar store that's even, even cheaper, or, yeah, I guess lower on the totem pole than, um, the Dollar General and Family Doll, like, it's even worse as far as quality, and I bought this Emma doll, and one thing I like about her, you know, I know this may not make sense to a lot of other people, but I like it when there's a doll that's like a knockoff Barbie, okay? But 
they advertise her as 11 and a half inches, when in reality, she's shorter. Let's see, I brought my ruler in here, yeah. Like, an actual Barbie, and by the way, Barbie is not actually 11 and a half inches. Um, she's more like 11 and a quarter. See, see, this is an actual Barbie doll, okay? The way you measure her is from the back of her heel to the top of her head, and that's 11 and a quarter. Now, if you can see that. So this is an actual Barbie doll. And they have a lot of these cheap knockoffs, like at the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General and the Family Dollar. They have these cheap knockoffs that are actually not even a full 11 inches. And I like that. Um, let's see, 11, no, she's 10 and a half inches. Okay, so there's one of their cheap knockoff dolls, Hollow Plastic Barbie. And I know this doesn't make sense, but I like that. I've always been a collector of Skipper dolls and dolls that are slightly shorter than Barbie. Um, you know, but they're kind of in that same age range. And I've always liked that. Um, I wish there were more dolls. I could title this video Eight Inch Dolls. Um, I've always thought there should be more various sizes of dolls. You know, to me, I don't feel like you're getting less than a Barbie. I feel like you're getting something unique, you know, something that's different than your standard 11 inch Barbie. And, um, you know, that's how I see it. But at this Dollar Kingdom, there was this doll named Emma. And she's advertised as 11 and a half inches, but she's really more like nine and a half. Or when I first bought her, she was nine and a half inches. But she was so cheap made, like I've never seen a doll so cheap made at the dollar store. She was, let's see, about nine inches. I don't know if you can see that. But then what I did was I made her even shorter, okay? And how I did that was I cut her feet off and then I took about maybe a quarter inch out of her legs. And for the first time ever, I used the hot glue gun and I made her, you know, slightly shorter in that way, glued her feet back on with her shoes. And then I cut her neck and made her shorter in that way, another quarter inch, so that now she's maybe a little shy of nine inches. She's maybe eight and three quarter, something like that. Like her head is just below the nine inch line. Um, if you put her, the back of her heel at the beginning. So she's basically, that translates to about four or five in human height. She would be about four foot five or four and a half feet. And I like that because I wish there were more dolls in that size range, sort of a skipper, if not shorter. And I have a lot of kid core dolls, you know, like a ridiculous number. And I brought some of my dolls to the new house, you know, several containers of them. So that if something happened to this apartment, I would still have them. Okay. Well, my complaint about dolls, okay, and this is another 8-inch doll made a different way years ago. She somewhat looks like a boy, but I guess she ends up looking more non-binary than like a boy. Um, and I have a few others that I'll show at another time. They're about eight and a half inches. Okay. And so I like this doll because she had purple hair. And so she ends up looking like a young girl, you know, kind of like a younger version of the Barbie dolls. And I've always liked that. I've always liked dolls of unique sizes. You know, one-sixth dolls that are not 11 or 12 inches. And my complaint with the doll world has always been this. There's a lot of, say, baby-type dolls, you know, that are only four or five inches or smaller, you know, that could be the baby of these dolls. And then there's a lot of teen-looking dolls. And of course, very few males, you know, I've made a lot of the girls into boys to have more little boy dolls that are not kins, okay? So it's like you have a lot of baby and toddler dolls. And then you have a lot of teen dolls and women-like, adult-like dolls. And so they're either a toddler or a teen, not much in between. And that rhymes, okay? So it's very hard to find dolls. I feel like middle childhood, so to speak, is severely underrepresented in the doll world. 
And that's why I have all those kid core dolls that are about seven and a half inches tall. And, you know, I just think the world would be a better place if there was a line of dolls about eight inches, roughly, eight and a half, or you could have like the girls being eight and a half inches and the boys being eight and three quarters, or something like that. Maybe even the other way around, um, wouldn't matter. Sort of like this. And I just think, you know, I mean, really, I hope they don't steal my idea, but you know, dolls about the modern Stacy size or somewhere in between. I wish there were more knockoff Stacy's. Like, you know, you'd have your seven and a half inch Stacy dolls of the 90s, like the Kid Core dolls. And then you'd have your nine inch type modern Stacy. And then you'd have like an eight and a half inch size in between. So, that, you know, I've lined them up before where it's like you have like a, <laughs> like a pyramid of sort. Um, you have like babies all the way up to like full size dolls like this. And, um, so yeah, I just think that, you know, I couldn't resist that cheap $1 doll with purple hair. You know, it's a unique hair color and a unique size. And I made her even shorter so that she'd be even more unique in size. And, um, you know, but I, I've just, I've just always thought that, that there should be, you know, they, they like diversity in skin tone, but why not have diversity in size and gender? You know what I'm saying? It's like, why do they all have to be girls that are either a baby or a fully grown woman? You know what I'm saying? Um, they should have like more grade schoolers and more, you know, well, I guess more that could be made into a boy. Um, but I guess this one doesn't look very masculine. She just looks like a girl with a shaved head. Um, so, you know, I just want to talk about that. I know I've spent way too long talking about the dolls and the technology and all that. See, this is my way of rediscovering childhood, so to speak. This is my immaturity, not cartoons, not TV. You know, I couldn't care less about that. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I'm into. And that's what I would want to preserve. That's why I brought them to the new house. So yeah, just want to talk about that doll, document that. And I know she may not be very sturdy, you know, she's a unique size. And, um, you know, just wish there were more unique looking dolls. And I wish that, um, that they didn't have to be a cartoon character or a specific character to be made into a doll. You know what I'm saying? I wish, I actually, what I really wish is there could be custom dolls. Like you could go to a website and there'd be a drop down menu where you would choose like male or female you choose a skin tone, um, choose a hair color, you know, choose a size. You know, you can actually customize your dolls. And so, you know, while there might be a lot more, you know, blonde teenage girls sold than, say, elementary school boys with black hair, they would still be two options out of many. You know what I'm saying? You'd still be able to have such dolls of anyone or anything you know, customized, whether or not they would sell at a store. You know what I'm saying? I hate the way what is available is determined by what people are willing to buy. Um, it should be like, if you want it, I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. You know what I'm saying? If you want a certain type of doll, you should be able to create it somehow, some way. Um, so I know I'm rambling way too long and I don't know how I'm gonna get the rest of them to the new house, you know, I wish somebody could help me out with that. Um, and I wish I could figure out this technology. It's really just eating my lunch. And at this point, you know, I just couldn't care less about TV. Like I've stated before, you know, if I never watched TV again in my life, I would be totally fine with that. Like if it was just me living in the house by myself, I wouldn't even bother to have a TV whatsoever. You know, I'd have a computer, I'd have a phone, but I wouldn't have a TV. Because that's how little I care about it. You know, I'm not entertained by that. I'm entertained by doing projects. I'm entertained by working with my hands. I'm entertained by improving things and feeling happy about it. Putting out new tablecloths, you know, baking things. I enjoy doing. I don't enjoy watching things on TV. I hate TV. I always have. 
Um, so yeah, I'm so proud of all the things we've accomplished at the new house. You know, just something as minor as a fan pull that I've installed can make me so happy. It can make such a world of difference to me. Whereas my dad, you know, the bare minimum accommodations would be fine with him as long as he has his stupid TV. His stupid TV and his stupid computer. You know, he sits around and just watches TV and stares at a computer screen all day like he's got nothing else to do. You know, no matter how overwhelming it is to get prepared for the move and get things ready, he will be sitting in a chair with this computer on his lap and the TV and, and just not care about, just ignore the whole world around him. So yeah, I know I'm getting angry. I know I'm rambling. Um, so I'll go ahead and post this and say that I am enjoying the process of moving my dolls to the new house and getting it set up.